Hi guys, in this video we'll have a look on this DC to DC battery charger, 30 amps for your camper van. It took me a while to convince myself to buy this thing from AliExpress. I was upset that to charge your lithium batteries you need to have some charging device because before I just was connecting alternated directly to the batteries and it was fine. Now it's not gonna work because lithium battery uh, requires some limiter. This thing will uh, charge your battery and when it's charged it's supposed to disconnect the batteries or charge them less because your lithium battery doesn't need to be overcharged, if not you ruin them. You cannot directly connect your batteries to alternator because the battery will be continuously asking for power and it will burn the alternator. It's not cheap thing, just this is 130 euro. Bluetooth and monitor all together it was 170, which I consider expensive for AliExpress because European brands you can buy kinda in the same range, yeah of course maybe 100 euro more, but you have different quality and different attention to details, which is important. Let's have a look on the first one, uh, the DC to DC charger. So I'm surprised how this thing's big. Ah, oh, kinda substantial box. For the size I feel like it's uh, kinda light and it doesn't deliver quality impressions to me. You can, you can select the battery type, you can connect your Bluetooth, your display and three wires for the batteries. Let's go to the, to the monitor. Uh, 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 uh. So you have maybe 5 meters cable, which is quite long, which is uh, not bad. Monitor, I don't think it's... I think it's too big, seriously, look at this. For what? For just show you a couple of uh, numbers. Most probably I will not be using this cover and I just uh, will uh, mount this direct... Maybe not, but you can mount this directly on the panel, so it's uh, much less space. And uh, with the box, yeah, you can mount as well, but I feel like it's way too big. That's what I'm talking about. When you take a box, I mean, it's just a box, it's not a product, but this attention to detail, like things are falling apart, it doesn't feel solid. Those things doesn't make impression of quality. Bluetooth dongle, I think it will be much more useful than uh, this monitor. I'm curious if this monitor will show you only the voltage of your battery right now, or it will show you the charge state over time. The problem with lithium batteries is that the discharge curve is non-linear. You might have same constant voltage for a long time and then at the end it discharged. So you might be looking in your voltage and thinking it's charged, but it's not charged or it's almost the flat. These three products should solve my problem of charging the lithium battery. Let's install it and see if it forced the money. Actually, the box does a good job of hiding the cable behind, so, so not bad. I was, uh, I'm taking my words back from what I said before, okay? So the monitor is attached to the wall, that's connected, okay. So everything to zero, 13.4 uh, volts. Let's start the engine and um, and see how it works. Uh, it's turning on and off when it needs to. Right now I've connected like a small electrical device to 220 volts. So it's consuming maybe 6-7 amps. Let's connect the Bluetooth right now and see what's going on here. Because I'm curious right now. That's the app of uh, this thing and it shows you basically uh, if it's charging, if it's not charging, your voltage, your battery status, how much you charge, as well as history, so for 11 days, and some errors. I will turn on the engine and see if something will change. Stand by here and watch the screen. Okay, the engine is on, spinning. Okay. Here we are, it started to charge. What you see on the on the screen here, you basically can see on the left there on the monitor about the battery, it's the same thing. What I'm worried about is if it stopped charging when the battery is uh, charged. So let's, uh, let's wait a bit and see if, uh, if, if it will stop saying the battery is full. 
here we are, the battery is full, uh, which is fantastic. Let's see the other screen. Here we can see the same things, huh? I think it's success, I'm happy with this. I would appreciate if, uh, if it was showing how much energy goes down as well. So it's been 24 hours since uh, yesterday and nothing burned here, everything looks all right. So uh, sometimes Chinese products surprise you, sometimes they upset you. This one slightly surprised me, which is not the bad thing. So let's try the application to see how it is. So basically when you open the app, you have one device, you click and it's spinning. Uh, when, it, when it works one time yes, one time no, it means it doesn't work. It's still spinning. Let's reset the dongle. It's not connecting. When things work like this with dongle, you're not gonna be using it, I'm telling you. When we start to use the when, that's when we're gonna see how it's working and that's when we can give you final feedback. But anyway, let's see in the future how the things will go on. Thanks for watching. Ciao.